Alright, what is up? It's Steve the Gimp St. Peter. Uh, last night was the high school reunion, and I thought I'd give everybody the D Lo on the free <laughs> Oh man, I got there about 6 o'clock. Uh, met up with Kim Yukis, the hottest cheerleader ever, and she was still as nice as ever. Personally and physically. <laughs> And Jesse Daly got, uh, not Jesse Daly, I mean, uh, Amy Daly. Nah. Amy Daly, God bless her. She still looks hot. Ah. <laughs> now, by 7 o'clock, everything was hopping, and <laughs> a lot of babes came. You know, a lot of babes that I had a crush on back in high school, they still look hot. And some of them were wearing some major cleavage bearers, you know? Oh my. <laughs> Boing, boing. Well, listen, new thought. I I didn't recognize her on the MySpace thing there. She got extremely hot, man. She's got some cleavage. Damn! And she's in the Coast Guard. It's just like, wow. Huh? <laughs> and I've got a few good stories about the reunion itself. We had our fall group uh, picture taken, right? Well, <laughs> check this out. Um, right after the pictures were taken, well, the music started playing and Macarena came on. Well, knowing me, I know kind of the Macarena. I thought there were people dancing with me as, as we were doing the Macarena. But then I all of a sudden realized Everybody's over on the tables, sitting and watching me and clapping, going, woohoo! And I, because I was usually the guy that always got the party started and everything. I was always the life of the party. No, I wasn't drunk. Anyway, uh, that was embarrassing. <laughs> okay, Mr. Mikey McFeely. Okay, Mike Feely, for those who don't know. He was known for being quite the party animal back in his, in his day, and he came drunk to the reunion. He had about four beers in him, okay? So, and I'm still wondering how he survived, okay? Check this out. He was getting all excited about something, and he's a big dude. He's like a six-footer, all muscle, okay? He, yeah, uh, he was getting excited about something, and he trips and falls or whatever into the pain of a, oh god, um, he smashes himself, okay, into the patio window door, okay, or sliding door, I should say, the entire thing fell apart. Okay, and uh, he's laughing after the fact. Okay, he's like, I wouldn't be laughing. I'd be in absolute agonizing pain. He's got a piece of glass stuck to his cheek on the left side, or maybe the right side, I don't remember. And he's bleeding, but he's still laughing. Okay, so we, we try to calm him down and everything, and the police finally come, and... You know, check him out and everything, and they had to go take him away. Sorry, McFeely. <laughs> so, yeah. Anywho, a lot of people were drinking that night. <laughs> uh, pretty interesting, you know. And oh my God, um, who was, Parker Dresser, biggest guy in our class. Okay, he's six foot seven, skinny as a beanpole. He's a civil engineer or whatever, and he's got a gorgeous girlfriend. Oh my god, she was... Holy shit. She's not from our class, by the way. She's she's from Bangor, so... They own an apartment building or whatever. And it's just like, God damn! Boing! You lucky dog, you. He's making good money, too. It's just like, wow, you know? Ready to go, Parker. And he's got an extremely hot wife. Well... Fiance, well, we are. Oh shit! I just dumped a lot of soda. Shit! This show brought to you by a really soggy desktop. Oh, all right. 
Oh, that was fun. Huh. Uh, and, well, I got to dance with two of my favorite dream girls from high school. Kim Yukis, who else said I dance with? Oh, shit. Amanda Burgess, yes. But, still, anyway, I got to kiss Kim Yukis right on the old mouth. Because she was being friendly and stuff, and she kissed me on the lips in a friendly way. But still, I think I'm going to die happy knowing that I got a kiss on the lips. Because she's not with anybody um, right now. She's a teacher down at Kissing Me. <sighs> Thank you, sir. And there's photographic evidence that I will be getting fairly soon when, when, okay. What the hell? Oh, uh, anyway. And my photo ID, okay, for the reason. I'm going to have to scan this in because I think a lot of people would get a kick out of it. To see what I looked like back when I was 19. The picture of me looking all serious with a guitar in my hand, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Which was taken down at the Hancock County Technical Center College thingamabob. Anyway, anyway. Let's see. As the night progressed, a lot of people were drunk, okay? It was funny seeing a lot of these people drunk, because I didn't really join them when they were, you know, drinking and stuff back in high school. Well, suffice to say, I got a beautiful view of some tits. Jessica Lemfor. Holy shit. She got a little screwy Louie, so she unbuttoned her shirt, and I got a nice view. Boing! Oh my god, those seacups. <laughs> Men have dreamed of those tits. Mainly me, I mean, you know, still. Boing! <coughs> and as a parting gift, we got shot glasses with the inscription of, let me see here, a uh, 10 year reunion. B.A. Uh, Bucksport High School class of 1996. Uh -huh. Thankfully, Dragon Cunt wasn't there. Or Mr. Cunt Ashado. Uh, as in Mrs. Mitar, the fucking bitch of the West. And Mr. Kamashado. Would you like some coffee? I fucking hated that dickhead back in the day. Uh, they made the, the high school... Uh, thing kind of unbearable times, but that's okay. Thankfully, they weren't there. That would have slapped the crap out of both of them. Okay, <laughs> that's all I'll say about them. But meanwhile, Kim shows me some pictures of her in Florida in a bikini. I'm like, thank you, sir. Thank you. Can I take some, please? <laughs> yeah. I tell you, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> she's got a quite a body of evidence. <laughs> oh. Anyway, much props to Kim Yukis, boy. I still have a crush on her, even to this day. Thank you, sir. But still, I can't wait to see that picture of me and her kissing. <laughs> I always had a dream of marrying her. I'm almost out of time for the podcast. But still, I got to share my high school reunion experience with everybody. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, I just can't wait to see what the next reunion will be like. Who will age gracefully. Who will become really ugly. Speaking of. Scary. <clears throat> Gabe Baker. He used to have a big mop of hair. Okay. Now, he's losing hair. It's funny. But, he he's with a really hot chick. Danielle. What was her last name? I forgot. It was Blaylock? No, it wasn't Blaylock. I don't remember. But, he's got her and I have diddly squad. What the hell? Ah! I'll see everybody later. On the next podcast!